Hello everybody. Today I'm going to explain and demonstrate how a dynamic microphone works. Well, what is a microphone? A microphone is a transducer that converts sound waves into electrical signals. Well, there are different types of microphones which imply different methods to convert the air pressure fluctuations into electrical signals. Well, there is dynamic, condenser, ribbon, piezoelectric, laser, fiber optic, and so on. But in today's video, we're going to focus solely on dynamic microphones. So what is a dynamic microphone? Well, a dynamic microphone is also a transducer that converts sound into electrical signals. And it works on the principle of electromagnetism. And let's take a detail at the construction, the inner construction of the dynamic microphone and its work in principle. All right, here's the construction of the dynamic microphone. And as you can observe here, this is the microphone casing and the gray bar toward the left represents the diaphragm. And the diaphragm is a free moving object. And the diaphragm is connected to a coil of wires represented in yellow and orange. And then you have a permanent magnet and this magnet is fixed, it's not free to move. And this setup is what creates the electromagnetic effect. Let's take a look at it in detail. So first, when sound waves uh, arrive at the diaphragm, sound waves are composed of uh, compressions and rarefactions, and they move back and forth. And when they hit the diaphragm, the diaphragm also starts moving back and forth. And this back and forth movement of diaphragm is still carried on further by the coils. The coils also start moving back and forth. Now here's what an interesting phenomenon happens. The magnet is fixed and it, it's a permanent magnet, which means it has its own magnetic field. And when the coil starts moving back and forth in, a, in the presence of a magnetic field, the magnetic field induces current in the coil due to the electromagnetic effect. And due to this principle, there is a signal generated which is drawn out as electrical output. Now from here, the signal can go on to the workstation if it's you know if if the intention here is recording or it can be connected to an amplifier if if it's used in, as an on stage mic all right here's a frequency response graph for a given dynamic microphone now keep in mind that this is not a generalized graph i mean the frequency response can be literally anything for any microphone it can be tailor made but generally as we observe for dynamic microphones the frequency response graph is not completely flat. It, it has bumps and dips. In this case, there is a dip in the bass region and bumps in the treble region. Whereas in the mid region, it's flat. You know, from approximately 200 hertz to 2000 hertz, it is flat. Okay, so, you know, since the graph is not flat completely, that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's about serving the purpose. Now, in this case, the dynamic microphones are serving purpose, for example, in addressing PA gatherings or being used as a vocals mic in a live music session. Well, they serve the purpose because the intended frequency or the expected frequency is only in the range of 200 to 2000 hertz. It doesn't exceed or go below that. When that is the intention, you know, it doesn't really matter if you have a flat frequency response in the bass and the treble region. And, you know, having a non-flat frequency response implies that this mic cannot capture sounds in the regions where, you know, it's not flat. So, again, such mics should not be used for recording high treble music or high, you know, music that are richer in the bass. Here's a polar pattern for dynamic microphones. What is a polar pattern? It is a way to determine how well the microphone can capture sound in 3D space or 3D environment. Now, dynamic microphones have a cardioid polar pattern. The name cardioid is derived from the shape's close resemblance to the shape of a human heart. Now, if you study this pattern, you can see that the microphone accepts the incoming sound from the front side, but rejects all the sound from the rear side. So this is really good because, you know, while recording, it'll only accept sounds from the front and it'll isolate the environment by rejecting sound from the rear. All right, let's look at some advantages and disadvantages of dynamic microphones. Well, to begin with, they're rugged, they have few moving parts and a simple design. So in case you accidentally drop them, you have nothing to worry about. You can use them again. They can handle high sound pressure levels, such as those from a kick drum. They provide good sound quality in the acceptable range. 
the sound from a dynamic microphone is often described as being well-rounded and mellow. It did not require any external power source to work, such as those required by condenser microphones. They are relatively cheap compared to other expensive microphones. They are versatile and ideal for general purpose, so they find applications in a wide variety of cases, such as for as a vocals for performances or addressing PA gatherings, for recording instrument sounds, especially high sound pressure level producing instrument sounds, for example, kick drums. And at the end of the day, they also have their own disadvantages. You know, the disadvantages are they have heavy mic diaphragm, and you know, due to that, the higher frequency sounds are not able to push the diaphragm easily, and because of which they have a very poor high frequency response. And again, due to this limitation, they cannot be used to record any music that has high frequency content, such as violin, and they cannot be used to record uh, sounds that are richer in harmonics. Here is an example of a dynamic microphone in the market, the Shure SM58 model. So this is how it looks like, you know, nowadays you can have these microphones in wireless mode as well. Let's look at another product. Alright, this is the Sennheiser MD441U model. This is also a dynamic microphone. Alright, now dynamic microphones are also referred to as moving coil microphones because of the principle we saw where the coil which is connected to the diaphragm moves back and forth over the permanent magnet. Now there is another type of dynamic microphone which is a ribbon dynamic microphone but it's uh, just referred to as ribbon microphone separately and uh, you know when it when when we say dynamic microphone we're most probably referring to moving coil dynamic microphone. The ribbon microphone also has a similar electromagnetic principle but just has a different construction. All right. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. If you have any questions, hit the comments and I'll be sure to respond. Alright, thanks a lot and have a great day.